What's up guys, War here, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna be bringing you my leveling guide and what I think is gonna be the best optimal route to get you into World Tier 4 very, very fast at the start of Season 2 for Diablo 4. So I know Season 2 is coming out in just a couple days and I know everybody is excited to play, whether you were on the fence about Diablo before or not, but a guide is really gonna help you. So this is my strategy and what I think is gonna be the best optimal route uh, to get you through uh, world tiers two three and all the way straight to four and get you to 70 really really quick and beyond okay so i'm going to kind of start with my little bit of spreadsheet here this kind of just breaks down everything but i'm going to go through it uh step by step for you guys and just kind of show you what i kind of came up with or kind of what we did from season one and we're just putting it into season two and making some small adjustments and just kind of taking everything into account now i do want to highlight here that Remember that there is 40% increased EXP in the season, okay? They wanted us to be able to do this a lot faster. They wanted us to be able to get through because apparently even through season one and season zero, there's still a lot of people who have not breached that level 50, 60 mark, or if there are people who wanted to get to level 100, they just didn't get there because the grind was just too boring and they just didn't want to do nightmare dungeons after nightmare dungeons, or they just didn't care to play because it took way too long to level up in the end game. So now that we have 40% increased EXP, you're gonna get there through a lot faster. So in world tiers one or two, this does not matter. It is the best way. Now a big focus here is in the new season that they're prioritizing everything on the brand new open world concepts that they're gonna have in the game. So what I suggest is, is that when you make a brand new character, you're gonna come in, skip the campaign. If you don't wanna do the campaign, make sure to skip it. I don't care if you want to do it or not. Um, if you want to do it, that's fine. If not, you're going to come in here. You're going to create a brand new character. And all you're going to do is just choose the skip campaign. We'll just finalize skip campaign right here. You just skip straight through it. Don't have to worry about it. If you want to do it again, that's great. Feel free. We're going to get all those brand new bosses in here anyway. So it doesn't matter. Okay, so after you got your character, you're gonna come in and you're gonna be at the start of the game. What I suggest you do right away is you're gonna go in and you wanna claim your renown. If you guys don't know, we have a couple days left before the season. They did make the change to where you're gonna have all of your renown, all of your renown um, in here. If I can remember how to bring up the renown because I'm really bad at this game and I haven't done renown in so long. Um, so you're going to have all of your renown. You get all of this unlocked if you have finished it, okay? All right, so you need to finish all of your renown inside of the season, at least finish it. Once you have finished it, you'll never have to do this again, okay? So you can see I still have a couple days left. I need to finish this and just max out my renown, okay? Now, if you've already done this in non-season, you don't have to worry about it, but just finish it that way every season going forward, you will never have to do it again, okay? Make sure to go ahead and knock that out. And that, that way you'll be able to claim all of your renown, which will give you all of your 10 points, your pots, and your paragon points. Even though you can't use your paragon points till you hit 50, but you'd be able to claim all of this and get some gold right off the bat, get your skill 10 skill points, as well as your extra pots. Okay, now after you complete uh, you know, claiming your renown, then you're going to have your guy right here. I don't know if he's going to be in the same place, but this is the guy that we had to talk to at the start of the brand new season for the malignant heart quest line, which ends up taking you all the way over here, which you guys can see. I didn't finish it on this character because it's very, very short. And all you have to do is actually just come up to this first section and just go along the quest line until you get the cage to where you can start claiming hearts. That's the only time that you have to do it. So I do want to preface that while you're doing this to do the, vamp the vampiric quest line, I'm going to guess with all of the changes that they're having in the season that with this kind of subpar, you know, theme that the vampire quest line is not going to be very long and you're going to go and go through it until you unlock what I'm assuming is the tab that allows you to have all of the powers or to be able to claim the potent blood and be able to just, you know, get your vampiric powers. So just finish the quest line first. It shouldn't be very long. Knock it out. It's very, very quick. Now, the next thing is the tree of whispers. Okay. The tree of whispers has been significantly buffed. All right. So the tree of whispers in world tier one or two, it doesn't matter, is going to be your best friend. Okay. The tree of whispers is this little tree over here 
and it allows you to have grim favors. Once you hit 10, you go turn one in. The increase in EXP has been extremely buffed. The increase in the gold that you get from these turn-ins, extremely buffed. And the rewards that you get from this, extremely buffed. So Tree of Whispers is highly sought after to be able to do in the game, okay? Especially in World Tier 1 or 2, it's really the only thing you have uh, access to besides Legions, which is going to be the next best thing that you're going to do. I suggest that when you are doing Legions, you guys can see that you have all of these points here. This rewards three Grim Favors, three. Then you have the small ones that do one. The best optimal route is to do the dungeons because they give you five. So you only have to do two of these and then you go turn in, rinse and repeat. Now, after that, you're gonna wanna do legions whenever they're up. It doesn't look like we have a legion up at the moment. I was hoping that th there is one, perfect. So legions have an increased spawn right now. They're gonna spawn more often and these give out an insane amount of rewards. If you complete this, you get the three chests and the ovals, as well as getting some really, really good gear. Now in World Tiers 1 or 2, it's gonna be a very low chance that you even get a legendary, but you should get some very, very good gear and resources along your leveling. So I highly suggest that you do these every single chance that you get. So after you're able to do those and you're just kind of trucking along, once you hit level 15, you're gonna go get your class specialty, okay? So that means you wanna go grab book of the dead or you know whatever class you're playing go get their specialty get your main power and then just get it going for every class but sorcerer you got to do uh, at level 15 or excuse me necromancer necromancer is at level 25 and then for the druid you're going to want to collect you know those spirit the spirit orbs or the spirit thing essences that you can do so you got to collect those along the way but even with that you can do that one early for the druid so after you have that the next big step is to do the vampiric hell tides okay the vampiric hell tides are going to look like this on your map all right they're going to be covered in blue now once you get into world tier three these are also going to be here along with hell tides so they're going to be active at the same time but these start at level one so as soon as you start the game and you skip the campaign these are going to be available at level one and i highly suggest that we go do this after you've done some some leveling you got your powers then you're going to go in here this is what's going to allow you to get your potent blood and allow you to start claiming some of those vampiric powers okay these are always going to be active from the start of the game all the way on the i don't think they're necessarily on a rotation as far as the hell tides um but they will be here all the time they might move you know, pay, uh, places but for right now they're going to be active right here all the time all right so highly suggest that you guys go do that and knock that out that's why you get all of your powers now after that and you're leveling up back with the tree of whispers you should be able strong enough to go do the capstone dungeon and then you're going to go into world tier three now in world tier three the most important thing that you can do for leveling is hell tides hell tides i don't think there's any one of them active right now it doesn't look like it so that's really great but hell tides are extremely strong in the new season they've already buffed them here in season one but they buffed them again here in season two so the hell ties are going to give you all of the increased resources more importantly the forgotten souls they give you increased exp when you open up any of the chests and it's going to give you even better gear so don't forget too, guys when you're into world tier three you should only get sacred gear world tier four is going to be only ancestral gear everything else should just be resources Okay, so you're gonna wanna do hell tides, that's very important. Then while you're doing hell tides, when they go away and they're done, I would just offset these with Tree of Whispers plus Legions for even more EXP and rewards. Okay, now as soon as you enter World Tier 3, you're gonna be able to do world bosses. These have also been increased uh, as far as the spawn rate. Instead of every six hours, it's every three hours and 15 minutes. So you're gonna be able to do world bosses even more and more often. But keep in mind that the world bosses have been buffed. All right, the world bosses are buffed, so they're a little bit harder, but Blizzard did increase the rewards that you get from them because honestly, right now, they're not even worth doing because of the rewards that you get. So they buffed their rewards and they made them harder. So I'm really curious to see how that's gonna go. And hopefully the resources are really awesome. But keep in mind, even so, definitely do the world bosses because when you beat a world boss, it's gonna give you five grim favors towards your tree of whispers completions so i definitely suggest that you guys do that just to speed up those tree of whisper turn-ins after at this point i would suggest going to get any aspects that you need for your build so that means going to get like you know twisting blades here or if, you know if you're going if you're playing druid go get something for the storm caller or um 
you know, rabies. If you're playing Necro, go get your bones to your stuff. Because you're not going to have to do every single dungeon again, I would just suggest going to do dungeons that you need specific as aspects for for your build and just get those out of the way before going into world tier four so that would be the next thing that i would do after that and then as you're repeating hell tides tree of whispers plus legions world bosses while they're up if you want to do any kind of dungeons just to kind of farm them feel free it's not going to hurt but i will tell you that the overworld um aspects of the game have been significantly increased so that's the tree of whispers the vampire hell tides regular hell tides and excuse me legions and world bosses blizzard has really pushed doing their open world content which i think is really really awesome and i think it's going to be a very very good leveling tool so on top of all that you're going to complete like little events that are going to be here side quests and just do those as you level i'm not sure how good the stronghold leveling process that we did from season one will be in season two but that is definitely something we're going to test out but i think doing the increased tree of whispers as well as hell tides etc are just going to be the fastest way to level in the game now, as you're doing that, that'll level you up all the way to get to 70. And then once you hit World Tier 4, again, you're going to prioritize doing Helltides. And then this is where Nightmare Dungeons are going to come in because you're going to start getting your Glyphs and you want to level up your Glyphs all the way to at least 15, if not higher. So I would highly suggest that you do Nightmare Dungeons uh, once you hit World Tier 4, if not, if you're not already doing them in World Tier 3. I still think in World Tier 3, I would prioritize the overworld or open world stuff first instead of just dungeons and i would do dungeons um until you get uh for aspects the only other reason that i would do dungeons guys is to be able to get the the one sigil to open up the quest line with the occultists here inside the town to be able to go do that quest line and get your sigils that is the only time that i would do it with the occultist is just to that way you open up sigil and sigil crafting and that's about it that's the only reason that i would um suggest doing any of those over anything else um now then once you're in world tier four you can just rinse and repeat these on top of the other open world stuff and then you can go do all of the bosses and farm the bosses and that should take you all the way to 100 and higher so guys that is my leveling guide for season two of diablo 4 what is it season of blood i am very very excited for this and just kind of really excited to get back playing some more diablo 4 i've really missed this game so uh the loving process is going to change so don't you know don't stick it to me in the comments if some of this stuff maybe changes as we get into the season but i will keep you guys posted as usual like the video comment down below let me know what you guys think make sure to subscribe and as always stay gaming i'll catch you guys in the next one peace